Yes, a TAVI procedure uh, firstly is performed to treat something called aortic stenosis, which is a disease of uh, one of the heart valves. And it is performed um, while the patient is awake and with some sedation and with keyhole surgery, which is essentially putting a tube most of the times through the groin up into the heart and then the valve will get implanted either with balloon inflation or with the valve itself coming out slowly from the tube. Um, and the patient usually uh, does not feel a lot apart from the initial local anesthesia in the groin or where occasionally it's not possible to do the procedure through the groin, we would do the procedure just under the collarbone or occasionally also via the neck. But in that case, we would use general anesthesia. Atavi um, is a procedure done via keyholes to treat a narrowing of uh, one of the main heart valves. So I'm going to make an example. So the heart lies in the chest here, and the job of the heart is to pump the blood like that. And on top of the heart, there is a valve that should look like this. That opens and closes. It sits on top of the heart, and the valve opens, let the blood out, and then it closes to avoid the blood going back. In patients with uh, something called aortic stenosis, which is a narrowing of the valve, the valve will look like that. It will be difficult to open it compared to this one, which is instead quite smooth. So our job would be to put a new valve inside the old one and make the heart beat normally again without any resistance. This is a procedure that has only been performed in the last, uh, performed and developed in the last 10 to 15 years, probably 20, um, because otherwise this problem would be treated with open heart surgery which is still performed. However, in patients who are, uh, are at high risk of having open heart surgery, especially those who are um, like not so young anymore, like older than 70 years old, we prefer putting the valve via the keyhole rather than doing open heart surgery. Occasionally, and we are developing that um, in medicine, uh, the valve can be really leaky, so instead of having a narrowing in here, the valve doesn't close properly. And the TAVI can be performed occasionally in that case as well. And in the very near future, it will it can be performed on uh, most likely most of the leaky aortic valves as well. Atavi, um, which is a procedure to um, implant a new valve in the aortic valve position, um, it's better uh, than open heart surgery when the patient cannot have open heart surgery in the sense that the patient might be too high risk for that and age can account for that because Somebody who is quite young, for example, for quite young, I mean, from a heart point of view, in their 50s, um, they can afford to have open heart surgery because they would recover quite quickly. Um, and the valve implanted with open heart surgery, we know that lasts uh, probably a bit longer than a TAVI valve. However, in people who cannot have open heart surgery, uh, and they need a quick recover, TAVI valve has been demonstrated to be uh, an excellent solution. And 
because the patient will go home most of the time the day after. The CD is not awake and the valve works as well as a valve implanted by an open up surgery. Um, it is a procedure that is um, now quite safe and uh, should a valve not last forever, let's say it will only last a few years, most of the times we will be able to put a new valve inside it as well. But it's mainly the uh, benefit of this procedure is because it's very less invasive compared to open up setting. A tabby, um, which again is a procedure done by a keyhole surgery to uh, implant a new valve in the aortic valve position of the heart, has got a very high success rate, especially when the valve is narrow rather than leaky. Um, the success rate in actual facts, as multiple studies have demonstrated, is same as open heart surgery. Um, and, and the results are quite good. In actual, I would say more than quite good. They are excellent as people who cannot afford to have open a surgery because they will be too risky because the recovery time is amazingly short. Um, it is very, it, it is quite rare, I would say, that a Taliban cannot be implanted nowadays like the can be implanted in pretty much all the anatomies apart from some exceptions obviously so we see the success rate is quite high as for every heart procedure um tabi has got risks of complications um the ATAVI procedure is changing a heart valve, which until 15 to 20 years ago could only be done by an open heart surgery. The risk of complications are small and the benefits are huge because implanting a new heart valve um, in the way TAVI is performed is not only to relieve symptoms, but also to prolong life. So the benefits of compared to risk are massive. And the risks of major complications are most of the times one to two percent. And the risk of minor complications is about three to five percent, according to the last literature, but also according to the data that we routinely collect uh, when we do this uh, procedure. 